Hello, hi, and welcome. It's Andrew from MAO Magic looking at the Techform Ultra Grip car mount. There's so many great ones out there, including ones from Spigen and Audi. These make up the three most popular car mounts out there on Amazon. So we're going to take a look at all of them, and we've already got them covered on our channel, so definitely check out the other car mounts, iAdi and Spigen, uh, to get the full picture of which one you should pick up. One of the best benefits of the tag form is it has such a wide range of sizes that it'll work with, between 2 inches and 3.6 inches. There's a little handy guide on the back of the box. If you find this in a store, you can kind of just hold your phone up with it, with its case on there, and see if it fits inside of those dimensions. Otherwise, you could just measure it, see if it's between 2 inches and 3.6 inches. You do have a little 3M adhesive here. This will not easily stick to something like leather. So if you have leather in your car and you may need to put something down a more smooth surface, you have that little 3M adhesive to go down first. Now, the Tacform one does not have this extendable arm like the Spigen and the iAdi do. So if that's something you're looking for, definitely go check out one of those other two options. But if you're looking for probably the most sturdy of them, this is probably the one to check out. It is able to be done one-handed. You first would have to adjust one side of this. There's a little thumb screw on the back. You loosen it, adjust it to your phone. Perfect, lock it in place. Then when you actually go into the right side of this is kind of on a spring. So you just put your phone in the left side first, pull the right side back and drop it in. Really easy to use, especially if you do it a few times. Dead simple to use one-handedly to remove and insert into the tack form itself. Other really great features, it works in 360 degrees, so you can rotate this kind of around um, from the base, and once it's on there, you can rotate it around, and it does have obviously great swivel on the actual neck itself. You can adjust up and down here on the bottom, and then the little ball and socket joint on the actual head of the unit. When you do go to actually mount this into your car, whatever surface that you put it on, there's obviously a suction cup, which is pretty standard across the board for these things. Once you put it down, it'll go ahead and suction into place, even on this, just this wood tabletop. It's actually very secure. I had to pull it quite a bit to get it to kind of come off. And that's still with a piece of paper on the bottom and a kind of porous wood surface. So here I am inside of my car. I'm going to remove that little piece first. It is slightly tacky to help it adhere a little bit better. But once it's on there, I make sure it's kind of in place, pull this down, and it locks in there. Super, super solid as you're driving. It's really not going to go anywhere. Once that's mounted in the perfect spot, I can go ahead and just slide my phone in. Of course, I can rotate this around as well. So if I was doing something like navigation and I wanted widescreen, I could just rotate that around just like I am here in this little driving demo video. I definitely sped this up. I'm not going this fast through a parking lot, but you can see that thing's not really moving at all because there is no expanded arm. It just stays dead stable. So as I'm driving, this really doesn't bounce at all, which makes it really easy to look at that screen and not kind of be staring around at a wobbly screen. If you are looking for a new car mount for your car and you don't need that extending arm, definitely take a look at the tack form. There's a link below in the description. Otherwise, subscribe. Till next time, it's Andrew for MAO Magic.